and you're listening over guys I'm your host Taff Rose uh, today we're gonna talk about re-entry program for the ex prisoner and how the organization for nonprofit um, civil guests today here gonna be share the experience with us um, let me uh, because one of our guests gonna leave early so we have him start first uh, judge mostly um, can you hear us hi judge mostly <laughs> How are you? Okay, good. Can you introduce about your organization and how um, how you try to um, what your program is all about, and then share with all the guests here? Okay, well, very briefly, and some will call maybe with my background, and obviously perhaps some some others. Uh, my ministry is dedicated to the justice ministry, and we have a national. By way of background, I'm a former federal prosecutor, former state prosecutor, former defense attorney, and a former judge. While I was on the bench, I was indicted on uh, counts and, and the federal grand jury system as well as the state grand jury system was facing 100 years of incarceration. Well, I was the 10th in the federal system with a corresponding 12 years in the state system was released in 1993. Since that time, I've been executive director of Justice Ministries International, where as we minister to those who are incarcerated, to their family members, and those who have been released from incarceration. But our approach is not a secular, secular approach. It is a spiritual approach based upon the laws of life that we teach in the various institutions. Along with ministering in the institutions, we also have a court TV program where as individuals who have a controversy can bring that controversy to laws of life court TV and receive a decision based upon the word of God. So that's in essence what we do and this is why we're involved in reentry and endeavoring to assist those who have been incarcerated as well as their family members. All right, thank you, Judge Mosley. Uh, because he's going to leave for um, his own program now, so we thanks for keep coming back, and we definitely will follow up with you after uh, future programming. Thank you so much, Judge Mosley. Thank you. So thank, much. You. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so uh, let's introduce uh, several of our guests here. Um, Angus, you here? Angus. Yes. Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Angus Love. Uh, for 40 years, I worked for the Pennsylvania Institutional Law Project. Uh, as of the first of this year, I am a consultant to the project. Uh, the project provides free civil legal services to institutionalized people in Pennsylvania. Today, I'm here representing Cure International. Cure International is a group dedicated to assisting improving the lives of people who are incarcerated by working with their family members. It was started by Charlie and Pauline Sullivan many years ago. We have chapters throughout the country, and we have chapters abroad. I'll be happy to tell you some of the work that we do if you want to hear it now or later. Uh, that'll be later. Thank you so much, Angus. Appreciate it. Um, so um, I think the, the the other people supposed to be here was not here today, but we gonna continue to uh, introduce our guests here. Um, Sam, you here? And my grandmother here is from Linda. Is also from the Stonewall Jackson. Let's have a Linda start, and then Sam, you continue. Uh, Fever with her, okay? Linda. Well, I'd rather let Sam do the talking. Okay. All right, Sam. You want to? Uh, Linda wants to start first. Sam, you okay, here? Sure. Okay. Talk so, about Stonewall Johnson. Tell her, okay, um, tell her about your organization uh, first. Okay, you got it. So, my name is Sam Fleming. I'm the executive director of a nonprofit called 100 Gardens. We're based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And we use um, aquaponic farming as a platform for hands on education. And um, through that, we teach um, STEM sustainability and healthy eating. We have programs in 11 different schools. Two of them are correctional facilities. One is for juveniles, one are for adults in Massachusetts. And um, so aquaponics is growing edible freshwater fish and vegetables in a symbiotic environment. Fish fertilize the vegetables and the vegetables filter out the water for the fish. This is a way that people are going to be growing food in the future when we really are struggling for freshwater resources and when our oceans are becoming depleted of fish. It's a gloomy industry and um, we're trying to use um, this experience and um, train incarcerated young men and also adults on how to enter this industry once they get out. 
Okay, great. Thank you, Sam, for introducing yourself and also your programming. And, and Linda, want something to add into it? About you, the Stonewall Junction, how you do to um, help out those trouble team. Right. Um, last year, I took the Master Gardener program in Cabarrus County, which is where Stonewall Jackson Training School is. And I elected to be on the team that goes there once a week. We work with the youth and with Mr. Fleming on working with these kids on how to do gardening, mostly vegetables, and and uh, raising them to sell uh, or to eat there at the school. We're trying to teach them skills that they could take once they leave the school and get back out into real world system. But also, we care about these young men and we try to gently um, change the way they think about life in general you know, we're not their guards. We're not their their uh, people at the at the system. There, we're just ordinary folks, and we tell them things that we've been through and try to influence them into a better life once they are gone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Linda. Linda. Um, we have uh, our sponsor here uh, for Sky Blue Painting from our family yours, um, Crystal and Danny. You here? Crystal Danny? Yeah. Okay, uh, tell me us about your your company and what you do and how you think uh, you'll be able to fulfill the, our program. So we are a, a painting company, family owned. We've got over 30 years of experience in painting. Um, we do mostly commercial work, but we also do residential government projects. Uh, this is a family company that's built from the ground up, and uh, we are very interested in helping uh, people post-incarceration uh, to get a skill and, you know, help further their quest to better themselves once they re-enter to society. Um, we definitely going to offer later uh, a training program that you'll be able to take anywhere, but until the end, we personally train you to get a uh, trade and the skills that we already have. That's really wonderful. See, that's our show sponsor, Guy Blue Pending. Um, the next, we have a guest, Jay from American Town, the, the vice president from American Town. Uh, Jay, can you introduce yourself? Okay, um, my name is Jay Shi. Uh, I'm from uh, American Town, Inc. Uh, I'm, I am a uh, uh, senior vice president taking charge in finance and investment. Uh, can you tell us about American uh, Town, what you do? Yeah, uh, we, uh, we mainly uh, uh, taking the project from South Africa and uh, and we execute the project and, uh, and provide, provide all sorts of uh, uh, construction equipment uh, and also uh, like uh, solar, solar panel and, uh, and also uh, water purification system. So, so it depends, that depends on what, uh, what the, 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 the African country needs. Uh, we, we will work with them through, through American Town to, to provide, uh, provide those uh, um, facilities and, uh, and equipment to, to, to them. Yeah. All right, thank you, Jay. Um, so is any, okay, yeah. yeah, is any other guests here on our calling system? Nobody here new? Okay, um, just want to focus in on a couple of things here. Why we talk about re-entry program and how did I start with? Um, yeah, so uh, that's waiting for uh, Morgan to arrive. Let's take a break.